Firstly, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Aditya, as I said before, and I have written J mains in two th two thousand fourteen, and I have been teaching physics for NEET since past five years now. So I do have a bit of an idea of chemistry as well. I have done my graduation from IIT Bombay, and currently I am also pursuing an MBA from FMS Delhi. So here, I think, okay, how to prepare for the last day? So Mo is asking how to prepare for the last day. So firstly, last day for any competitive exam, if you ask me, is to relax a bit to get your thoughts in line so that you can perform well in your final day. What you can do, the exam is on 17th of July. So you have roughly 17, 18 days in your hands. In these 17, 18 days, you can schedule a whole uh, revision schedule. So, um, if you ask me for physics, take up like two chapters a day and complete like 15 minutes of formula uh, uh, revision and some one hour of question, question practice. So, two to three hours per subject will give you some nine hours a day for the revision. And that would really help. Same for chemistry. Chemistry also has a lot of topics. Focus more on the physical chemistry part because it uses a lot of uh, calculations. And of the 45 questions, nearly 20 of them are from physical chemistry. Neat as well. And they are quite easy formula-based questions. So that is how you should go ahead, according to me, soon. All right. Uh, how to score 150 plus in chemistry? So I think this is a question you should ask when search joins. But roughly, if you are capable of scoring 150 plus in chemistry, you are capable of scoring it even now. Not just on the last day of the exam, last minute of the exam. Your preparation is well ahead of your uh, time. And I think that would be sufficient. All the chapters should be read thoroughly. NCRT books of each and every chapter should be, you know, by your fingertips. So that really helps helps you here. All right. Okay. Please post your questions on the Q and A section because when Sir joins, I would really like if he can just start away with uh, answering your answering your questions. Arya is asking, what should we give more attention to, physical or inorganic? Physical, in my opinion, physical is fairly simple. Not very road, not very much road learning, and not very vast. So the syllabus of physical is clearly defined, and it would be easier for you to revise physical because it is a formula based subject, and it does have a lot of uh, weightage in need. All right. So Arya, I think that answers your question. Shubham is asking, I am really very bad in class twelfth organic chemistry. What to do? So see, Shubham, you have twelve. Like, well, 18 days left in your hand and 12th organic chemistry NCRT is really amazing. If you just read it page by page, page by page with clear attention and clear uh, mindset, I think that would really help you out there. Not just reading the chapter, you can also solve the exercises which are given at the back of the chapter and even the in-chapter exercises are pretty good. There is uh, another book called Exemplar Problems for NCRT. So for 12th standard organic exemplar problems are nearly J advanced level. So Shubham, I think that answers your question. If you have any follow-up question, please post it on the Q&A chat. Okay, uh, someone is asking, how can an ISC school, uh, student score 150 in chemistry? It's not about being from ISC or CBSC or SSC or any other board for that matter. Need preparation is completely, you know, maybe, it's quite uniform across the country. It doesn't really matter if you are from CBSC, ICSC, or any other board. Uh, to score 150 plus, as I answered before, you need to be well prepared by now. All the chapters must be thorough. Maybe one revision round has gone very thoroughly. And now what you have to do is practice papers, more and more papers, so that you, you know which chapters you need some more extra push at. So that answers your question. Uh, okay, I want to join, join the army. Sarvesh. So this exam is important to me. Army means AFMC, you mean Armed Forces Medical College. So, yeah, indeed, the cutoff is quite high for AFMC. 
here i think it's 620 630 plus so that would require you to score 150 plus in physics and chemistry both and 3 320 plus in uh, biology so yeah that's right and exam is important to you so what's your question sarvesh if you could just put it as a uh, follow up question in the question answer uh, section okay so sir has arrived uh, is naman sir uh, naman sir taught me chemistry when i was in 11th and 12th and then at my coaching institute he used to come as a visiting faculty to teach chemistry to both j mains and neat students swapnil mishra what do you want to ask swapnil uh, you will have to put your question on the question answer section uh, Bhav bhavya shri what's your question what are very very important chapters in chemistry all right so i think sir is better suited to answer this he will be guiding you through this uh, whole neat preparation seminar samir how to remember many formulas at the same time okay so samir so how to rem uh, remember many formulas at the same time yes so uh, there is an efficient trick, uh, trick to this write down all the formulas chapter wise and make some you know maybe charts of the same and put it on your uh, wall or something so whenever you wake up whenever you are you know, taking a stroll or something you just like your eyes just goes to uh, that chart and you can so samir uh, i think you should write those all uh, all those formulas down on a piece of you know maybe a chart paper or something and stick it on your wall and look at it so if you look at sir a sun if you look at the same thing at like 10 times or so you will get to know that it's easy to learn them. yes sir ah so, yes yes welcome to shita webinars yes and uh, i'm really again we meet so uh, it, it's amazing to have you on on board with us and i would really like if you could introduce yourself sir uh uh yes uh, i would like to introduce myself to the students my name is uh, uh naman pande and i have been teaching neat students for around uh, now 12 years i have taught the students for neat for je i have taught even lendia but it's been 12 years that i have done the teaching for the neat exam at various coaching centers and that's it i have basically experience of 12 years Yes, sir. That, that was quite an introduction, crisp and simple. Uh, so, sir, uh, we have a few few questions. Since the meet is on the seventeenth of July, so it's roughly seventeen eighteen days the aspirants have in their hands. So, what would you suggest that they do for chemistry? Like, which sections should they target on? What is the weightage, like physical, organic, and inorganic? So, for J mains, I think I I roughly have an idea. So, before you join, I was trying to answer the questions of the students. But um, yeah, uh, when it, what is the scenario in NEET? When, see, when it comes to the NEET exam, I have found over a period of years that they've started giving. more importance to organic chemistry as compared to physical okay. and inorganic over a period of time i don't know why they have done this but slowly slowly the weightage of the organic chemistry section has been slightly greater slightly greater you could say 40 30 30 40 30 30 30 30 it's not like je means where they are giving equal weightage to all the three branches somehow organic is being given greater weightage all right fine so as sir says i think that answers the question of a lot of students here uh, okay uh, and one thing i would like more, to tell the students is that no no there is one thing i would like to put up over here is that even though they are giving greater weightage to organic chemistry everything is being asked from ncert class 12 part 2 that book ncert class 12 part 2 is completely okay. organic chemistry and they are virtually asking every question from that book most of the questions are from the exercises and the solved examples so you know ncert class 12 part 2 will have to be done thoroughly by the students uh, the next question is from uh, samir samir had asked what what do we what do we do if there are a lot of formulas hmm See, when it comes to formulas, you know, lot of formulas means 
and which branch actually you know basically formulas can only be in organic uh, physical chemistry now for physical chemistry remembering the formulas is more about more about how much practice you are doing of the questions from various books the more you practice you know the more those formulas will keep getting set into your head they'll keep getting like you know you'll be continuously to keep doing questions practicing questions they'll keep uh, coming into your mind time and again so i think the best thing to do is to practice more and more questions and do repetitive study as we say aditya always uh, if you have around 15 days before an exam there is no point studying anything new it's about repeating the old things again and again repetitively if you have done a chapter like chemical kinetics once do it three times more but don't try to study anything new don't try to study anything new do the same thing again and again again and again again and again a repetition is very very important for neat the more you repeat a particular concept the more it will get uh, embedded into your head so you have to repeat the concept you don't have to study anything new as it is the syllabus for physical chemistry in neat is the content which has to be taught is lesser and that content has to be repeated time and again repeated time and again so you don't have to do anything special or anything new it has to be the same content repeated time and again repetition is important the more the number of times you repeat it you will be able to recall it in the examination time also that is that is quite true sir it's more about it's more about practice and repetition indeed indeed uh, so samia is asking another question so huh. the focus should be more on theory or numericals uh when it comes to the neat exam they ask the theory and numericals both it's not like je where the numerical content is greater in in the neat exam i think both theory and the numericals both have to be done both have to be given equal importance in fact you know uh, you can you have to do theory and numericals both but the level the question level of the numericals is not as difficult as je mains so you know the level of questions is slightly lesser the level of the questions is slightly lesser so i think it would be better if the student does theory and numerical gives equal weightage to both of them but yes he can slightly decrease the level of the questions which he is practicing so equal equal weightage for theory and numerical yes 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 absolutely so mira i think that answers your question okay this is an interesting question from veda oh. veda is asking can i skip organic no that will be suicidal no not at all organic chemistry you can't no not for nahi nahi bahut galat hai it will be it will be suicidal you will have to somehow do it you can't avoid it now organic chemistry cannot be avoided as it is i told in the very first question that over a period of time i am seeing that they have started to give greater weightage to organic chemistry so you know i you know i won't suggest you to skip organic you can skip inorganic chalega but not organic you cannot skip organic veda keep that in mind whether you understand uh, it or not in the last 15 days learn up whatever little you can just do it just learn it up because they ask direct questions they won't create many variations they ask direct questions like you know preparation of phenol you have the cumin hydroperoxide preparation method they will ask directly what what will happen when you react cumin with air at room temperature and then you hydrolyze it simply give the product so you just need to learn the direct reactions they are not going to give you too many variations but please don't leave organic nahi nahi so bhogeshri is asking which are the most important chapters in chemistry see aditya as usual you know when it comes to the most important chapters they remain nearly the same always like in inorganic you know you cannot leave out chemical bonding you will have to do coordination chemistry very very frequently asked obviously salt analysis thoda sa kam ho jata hai percentage compared to je 
but chemical bonding you just cannot leave out there are going to be multiple questions from chemical bonding as far as the blocks are concerned just do the ncrt that will be more than sufficient but like you know when i used to tell the je students you can leave out the blocks and focus on chemical bonding coordination and salt analysis i won't tell that to the neat students that doesn't work in the neat exam so you know chemical bonding coordination chemistry extremely important when it comes to organic chemistry again the chapters remain the same goc general organic chemistry isomerism reaction mechanism these three chapters as usual they form nearly 60% weightage of organic chemistry goc isomerism and reaction mechanism the rest are all named reactions aditya you know and in neat they won't ask more than 20 named reactions aldol canizaro most important preparation of phenol from cumene hydroperoxide very very important colbe's reaction elimination e1 e2 e1 cb sn1 sn2 they stick to then you have uh, your isocyanide test or the car carboxylamine reaction hoffman bromomide has been asked repetitively in neat so you know they, they as i am telling always they stick to the ncrt and they ask direct questions they don't even give many variations so you know if a student is saying in organic chemistry goc isomerism reaction mechanism and a few common named reactions like aldol canizaro hoffman bromomide um, these are the common reactions which the students will have to learn and physical obviously chemical kinetics electrochemistry um, equilibrium and thermo yes chemical 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 kinetics is very very important they give a lot of questions in the neat exam also see one thing i would like to tell you in the neat exam i have also seen in physical chemistry more questions coming from the class 12 section as compared to the class 11 so kinetics electrochemistry and solutions dilute solutions has to be given more time more more uh, more emphasis should be given to the class 12 section whether it be organic or physical Class twelve chapters. Hmm. So class twelve chapters, right? Yes. Greater okay. emphasis on the class twelve in CRTs. The, uh, there is another question here. Hmm. On uh, someone is asking that instead of reading full NCRT, hmm. can we just read the NCRT short notes provided in the NCRT exemplar book? Yes, in the last fifteen days, that would be very helpful. I have NC, but you see, NCERT exemplar problems are very difficult when it comes to the neat level. You know, NCERT exemplar problems are virtually equivalent to JEE mains. They, I don't think, utna they won't ask that much in neat. I think it's better you go in for the NCERT book and read that book directly because the NCERT exemplar problems are actually very difficult. They are actually difficult. They are virtually equal. Some questions are as good as JE Advance. So I don't. I would think JE Exemplar programs problems would be very difficult. I don't think they should in the last fifteen days go in for the Exemplar questions. They should directly go in from reading from the NCERT books. Okay, I think that answers your question. Uh, which neat material is good enough for chemistry? Yeah, how can you take the name of any particular coaching institute like this? You know, it's <laughs> Aditya. We can't do it on on electronic media like this. You know, just like naming a coaching institute directly. I I I won't do it. It's not. That's not correct. That's not the way to go ahead. You know. Okay, sir. I, I will keep out of that. Absolutely, no, no, no. I won't answer questions like these. No. on personal level thing i can deal with it but not on electronic media like this i i can't name a particular coaching institute but ncert i think should suffice for neat right ncert obviously is the base book it is the base book whether it be the je mains exam or whether it be the neat exam the je the ncert book is very very good very good 
But as I said, the, that the student was asking me, should he do the exemplar problems? I think that would be, that won't be required. No. He should just stick to the NCRT book. Sir, uh, another question is for that chapter of, you know, biomolecules. Which one? Biomolecules. Bio mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah, yeah. How important is that chapter for me? At the most, one question. One question. At the most, one question. Not okay. more than one question. Uh, there is a student from 11th standard. She is asking... Mm -hmm. How can I prepare from now so that I'll be well prepared next year? See, finally, it's all, it all boils down to planning. Since you have one year in hand, like, just ask the student, does he attend any coaching institute? Yes, sir. Is that student attending any coaching? Okay. Because if he's attending any coaching, then he should be studying two hours of biology, two hours of physics and one hour of chemistry every day by himself. Yes. Because you see, chemistry will come out to be simpler as compared to biology and physics. Much yes. simpler. In the NEET exam, the, chem the chemistry part is far more simpler than bio and physics. So the student, first of all, if he's going to the coaching institute, definitely he must be having five to six hours of study over there. Then when he comes back home, he should be doing five to six hours of study equivalent by himself. If he's doing five hours of study, then it should be two hours, two hours, one hour and one hour of chemistry every day. So it all depends on, and, and on any given day when he doesn't go to any coaching institute or any school, then he should be doing at least eight to 10 hours of study every day. Minimum eight to 10 hours of study every day. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, uh, sir, there is another question. Hmm. What should be the order of uh, order of attempting the questions? Like physics, chemistry, maths, uh, physics, chemistry, biology, biology first or chemistry first? What should be? Uh, that would that always depends upon see what what student see what happens is like in the IIT JE exam, students decide beforehand, they decide which are their which are their strengths. So you should decide this order in accordance with your strength. If you feel that uh, biology is your strength, definitely you should begin with biology. If you feel that chemistry is your strength, you should begin with chemistry. It depends upon how good you are at a subject. You should give. You should start with the subject at which you are best at, always. So it depends upon how comfortable you are with the subject. I have known students who got through the NEET exam, their total in physics and chemistry was greater than the total in biology. Yes. You know, there, there are certain students who prefer physics and chemistry more. So it depends upon uh, the strength of the student in a particular subject. You should always at attempt that subject first at which you are most comfortable. That should be the order. Begin with the subject which is your strongest point. Okay, so what would you suggest to the students who haven't done much new specific preparation until now? They were doing more specific preparation and they have these 15 days to you know, work on. Aditya, as usual, don't pick up any new book. Stick to the NCRT itself and one practice paper of NEET every day. Okay. One practice, one practice paper, paper in NEET every day and just keep on studying your NCRTs. Okay. And you'll have to study three hours in a practice paper and at least nine hours by yourself. So 12 hours a day for the remaining 15 days at least. So it is like 15 hours a day something. Yes, yes, yes. Well, at least now they will have to do that. At least now. Okay. But one practice test paper every day, every single day. Okay, so I'll ask last three, four questions, three questions. Mm -hmm. uh, if anyone wants to ask that question out live, they can just raise their hands. I'll uh, allow them to talk. If anyone is interested in asking or talking to us, interacting with us, just raise your hands. Okay, so there is one raised hand. Naksri, I'm allowing you to talk. You will talk. 
Hi, sir. Um, so yes. I just had one question. Now, yes, yes. Uh, my son is preparing for the NEET exam. Hmm. And, uh, you know, we're trying to get our hands on this NCRT 12th Standard Chemistry Part hmm. 2. And hmm. that is just not available anywhere. So is that all right? He's got the other NCRT books, but only this is not yet. I, I have it with me. I'll send it to Aditya. You can take it from him. I, I have it with me. Oh, lovely. Aditya, where can I get your details from then? Would you be able to send that to me, please? Uh, you can write us to shiksha.com and we can provide. I'll oh, send it to Aditya. I'll send you the PDF. Okay, ma'am. Yes, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Aditya, you just need to, uh, like, you know, you just need to send me a reminder on WhatsApp. I'll send you the uh, soft copy of the book. All right, all right, all right, sir. We will put it on the Shiksha portal itself, the soft copy. That you, uh, Aditya, that, Aditya, Aditya, you, you do it. All right, me. so anyone who wants that book can take it from there. So I think that answers your question, ma'am. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay, no problem. Uh, next is, I think, Veda. Veda, I am allowing you to talk. So can it just tell, can we do with inorganic chemistry in these last days? Uh, as I said, in these last few days, it's better that you do first chapter that you study very well is chemical bonding. Because they ask multiple questions from chemical bonding. Then the next chapter which you need to focus is on a coordination chemistry. Again, a chapter from which they ask multiple questions. So chemical bonding and coordination chemistry, these two chapters. Yes. Then the next thing which you need to do is, uh, Aditya, something's gone wrong. No, sir, it's okay. It's not for you. You can just ignore that. I can just close it, right? Yeah, yeah, we close it. Right. Huh. So see, chemical bonding is there. That's the most important. And then coordination chemistry. Apart from that, if you <laughs> do get the time, then just do P-block from the NCRT. That's it. You don't have more time than that. Chemical bonding, coordination chemistry, P-block, 60% of the questions need in organic chemistry. And P block also just stick to the NCRT, no other book. Okay, I think that answers your question, Veda. Anything else you would like to ask? Yes, sir. So can I just tell the same thing for physical chemistry as well? Physical chemistry, I think you've got 15 days. One chapter a day would suffice, you know, don't you think? A chapter like mole concept will just require two or three hours for revision. Structure of atom will require just two or three hours for revision. Gaseous state will require just two or three hours for revision. Obviously, thermo requires some time. Equilibrium requires time. But I think if you put in that extra time, in 15 days, you can do all the chapters, one chapter a day. If you are leaving out things in inorganic or physical chemistry, you can do one physical chemistry chapter each day. And they are not very lengthy. Some of them are very, very small. Solid state, liquid solutions, um, structure of atom, gaseous state. They are the smaller ones. So I think 15 days, one chapter a day. I think that would, I think you'll be able to com cover complete physical chemistry. Now, as far as asking me the important chapters is concerned, I've already told you liquid solutions, chemical kinetics, electrochemistry, thermo and, I thermo and equilibrium. And they are the very, very important ones. But liquid solutions, electro and kinetics, please do very well. I I'm repetitively telling you in the NEAT exam, they are putting in more focus on the class 12 chapters. Right? Okay. Thank you for asking. So thank you for answering her question. Thank okay, you, Aditya. Sir. Right, right. Aditya, uh, so, last one, I think. Uh -huh. uh, there's just one last question it's from Arhan. He wants to talk. Hmm. Uh, Arhan, I am unmuting you. You can just talk. Unmute yourself and you can talk. Hello, sir. Hmm. Sir, uh, yes, I can sir, hear you. Yes, sir. I just wanted to ask that uh, during these last days, uh, it's too difficult to study the whole of NCRT textbook. So, is it fine if we refer you some YouTube videos and all? I don't have, I really don't have much faith on what they are doing on the digital. So see, let me tell you one thing. 
I think your NCRTs are much better than any teacher who's teaching you digital. You know, I, I really don't trust them most of the time. I uh, When it comes to the materials provided by these various platforms, I am not very confident of what they're transferring. I would still suggest that you just sit down, put your head down with the NCRT and they'll help you more. They'll really, really help you more. I'm sir, telling you this. Sir, uh, can we neglect the first year, uh, first year uh, 11 standard chapters? Uh, see, now such a question, now such, if you are planning at that level, then you should be doing your class 12 chapter so thoroughly that your questions just don't go wrong when it comes to a class 12 chapter question. I know that 60% of the examination is going to come from the class 12 chapters. But then you should be so good at them that your questions just don't go wrong. That's the only way that will help. Your strategy will help. Then do them so well that if there is a question from the class 12 chapters, you just don't get it wrong. Okay, right? Sir, sir. Yes, huh. sir. One then last practice question. It, then practice it so thoroughly that you just don't get the questions wrong. Yes, sir. Yes. That answers sir. your question, Arun. One last question. Aditya, it's something like it's something like as we discussed in the J thing, what Mohit Shah did. Yes. He, he, did, he did physical and organic so well that he really wasn't bothered whether he studied inorganic or not. He didn't study inorganic. I know it. He told me. I'm not interested in inorganic. So he did his physical and organic so well that okay, he had a strategy, he had a plan in mind. Yes, so, uh, okay. Any final things you would like to say to the aspirants? Before we close this session out. Aditya, the final thing is always the same. Um, please be relaxed. Please be calm before the exam. Uh, there's no point taking uh, undue stress. Stress doesn't allow you to give your exam properly. It doesn't allow you to think properly. And, and as usual, I keep telling the students, please no need to take your books right up to the door of the examination center. Before the exam, two or three hours before the exam, just relax, take it easy. If you've studied well for the past two or three years, you will definitely get through. Your hard work will pay off. But you know, all that thing, taking stress in the end, taking uh, undue necessary tension in the end doesn't help. It doesn't help your thought process. It doesn't allow you to think properly. So just be relaxed and calm before the exam. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel.